What's up everybody, Derek here, and today on a hot, hot day, we are at Bass Pro Shops. We are gonna go inside of here to look at some boats, but not necessarily for myself in the future to possibly buy, but I was posed a question by one of my subscribers, what I thought might be the best boat for you know conversions on the weekends whereas you could go on a Saturday and go fishing with your son or daughter or whoever and then Sunday you might go out there and decide hey it's a family day and hook up a rope and tube behind it and wakeboard behind it and all that stuff so kind of like a fishing ski type of a boat what does Bass Pro have to offer and what could be converted to be something very similar into that category it could be kind of a fish one day family boat another day or all in the same day who knows but I figured I'd go in here and check it out and see what my thoughts are on what might be I already know a Tahoe is probably gonna want to be one of the best but could it be a V-Haul could it be a tracker but maybe they're a little more underpowered I don't know let's go inside and check them out in there all right I just walked in here and it is not a huge selection this one sold, that one sold, that one sold, that one sold, and that one sold. So pretty much everything what we're looking at in here is pretty much sold. So not a whole lot of selection as the last time that I was here, but uh, if you're looking for a fishing in a family boat, these V-Hauls could be a consideration opposed to that, that is actually that Tahoe over there that you could actually put a trolling motor on the front let's look at it all right this thing is 21 foot one recommended horsepower is 225 46 gallon fuel tank eight foot six beam the whole thing weighs 4600 pounds and can hold 10 people that's pretty good pretty good sized boat but look at that price tag so you could definitely have a location where you, if you wanted to put on a trolling motor up here on the front, you could definitely do that. Um, this is definitely one of those kinds of boats that has the conversion capability of fishing and then basically taking the family out, putting that bimini top up and just kind of sitting around in a cove and swimming. But it said 225 for the max horsepower and it looks like this one actually has a 200 on it. Let's look at these, if they're unlocked, yeah. And tons of space down in here if you wanted to mount some extra batteries for a trolling motor or anything else. I mean, that's a, that's a good looking boat. You could put your pole in right here for pulling people, or wakeboarding and tubing and all that, and I'm sure that compartment's exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same, so it's a good size down in there. So if you're trolling, trolling along, put your poles in, got, it has a sound system, storage for your rods, cup holders, it's got a, what is that, kicker sound system? Here's your live well, nice padded seats, oh you could actually put that up and put an ice chest right there, that's pretty cool. If you need to access to fix a fuel, fuel pump or anything like that, that makes it easy. And then, ah, the other location for the hatch to get to the fuel tank as well. What we got in here? Another live well. So dual live wells, that's pretty cool. Got a little gate right there. I don't know how that works, but, oh, that's raised up. Yeah. So you got a full bench seat right there. That's pretty sweet. Let's look at the gauges. Nice gauges. Yeah, it's got that kicker sound system. More storage for rods. Let's see, you got a breaker right there. Whatever you want to store in there. Another hatch down in here. Oh man. Well, 
that's a cooler right there. Tie offs, kicker sound system, lights. I mean, this thing's pretty sweet. Same thing on this side. What is this? Oh, this is not a live well. I called it a live well on the other side. It's actually a cooler. And then you got more storage right here with more coolers. Jeez. This whole thing is coolers. So yeah. Not a bad looking boat. Oh, I didn't even, I missed this one. Even more storage. I wonder what this is. Another hatch to get down low. Oh, I just lost. another hatch so you can get access to everything else in case you need to install or work on some electrical stuff yeah there's access all over in this boat so all kinds of functionality definitely a cool boat even more storage for just about anything up here pretty sweet Put a trolling motor off the front. Definitely a pretty cool boat. Very versatile. I didn't even see the ladder. I walked right over it. So you can get up and down. I bet this boat moves pretty quick on the water. You could haul 10 people. Cool little boat. All right, now to compare. We got a red V-haul here. Could this be made into a fishing boat? family boat if you were to buy one new i like the price tag a lot more Twenty-seven thousand. this v-haul is 17 750 horse max 25 gallon tank eight foot one beam which is actually the same size beam as that tahoe over there weighs a lot less the whole thing's right at three thousand pounds and it holds six people so depending upon how many people you're going to consider as a family if you're taking it out and then transferring over and going fishing but good looking boat and it already has the trolling motor mounted and let's see this is a 55 thrust power drive and i believe this one has the gps capabilities and the gps lock which is pretty cool not a bad looking boat let's see what size engine does it have 150 Oh yeah, you could tube or wakeboard or ski or anything behind this thing if you absolutely wanted to. Look at all these locations for seats. You could put people all over back here. There's not really a bench seat for it, so it totally makes sense. But uh, is this a live well or a cooler? Looks like a live well to me. Yeah, it's a live well because it's plumbed in right there trays for putting in for the trolling motor starting battery and this side should be the other yep live well so that might actually be the bait well and this is the live well possibly you got your straps for putting your rods down side storage for anything that you might need and the step oh that's a crazy big step uh another hatch more access for more batteries down in the bottom you can put more than just one battery down in there let's see if it picks it up i can't see back in there it's so dark but there's quite a bit of storage if you absolutely needed to put stuff in there but that this is also rod storage so it goes all the way to the front that's a pretty cool option that they've got for this thing More storage right here. Uh, another live well, bait well, looks like. Pretty good size, too. More, uh, this is actually cooler. This one, I get fooled so many times by looking at them and having to look for the plumbing. Some good size storage there good mounting location just 
cool looking up here. Just simple, very simple. And then here's the gauges and everything. Very simple with everything and the way it's laid out. I like it. And one other rod locker that is actually locked. And I'm sure it looks just like those over there. But yeah, not a bad looking boat, especially for the price. It's just kind of dependent upon what your needs are. If you need something that big that holds 10 people or something right there that actually holds six people. Just kind of whatever your needs are. You know, if I was to look at one of these trackers, could you make this a fishing family boat? Yes, but the issue comes with the power plant. It's got a 75 on it, which is a decent sized motor, but it just kind of goes along with what needs you have. And the same with this V-Haul. This is a little bit smaller one and it looks good. But then it's the same power plant issue of a 75. So you kind of got to just determine, could you do it with a bass boat like this with a bigger engine? Yes, you definitely could. You could put in a pole and pull people around a tube and sit somewhere and swim around and still go fishing. So you just have to consider the price and all the little things that go along with it, the intricacies. So for that price, that's about ten thousand dollars less than that tahoe so but it only holds four people so as lifeguard regulations or uh, coast guard regulations go that one's under so it'd just be basically a family dad mom and kids for the most part all right here's the mako over here this is actually a boat that's meant for salt water but it looks very similar to this Tahoe it's just got a different configuration so it's 18 foot 10 47 gallons 7 foot 9 beam so it's got almost the same size beam as that Tahoe 3,000 pounds and it holds five people so one less than actually that V-Hole can uh, and 150 horsepower so for 40 grand so it has the saltwater capabilities but it only has a 150 just like that V-Hull. For a bigger, longer boat, I would say. And it's fiberglass, so it's gonna weigh more. So it's just kind of whatever you think the usage you could have. And it's got hatches everywhere. I'm sure there's storage just like that Tahoe that would be very similar with everything. Multiple live wells. It's a pretty boat too. I like that color, but just one of those things where you kind of got to decide because any of these boats could potentially be a fishing and family boat any any other time it's just what is your usage out of these boats i hope that was kind of a good summary of what kind of boats are inside of there i mean if i was looking in the future there is some boats inside of there that i definitely could consider for fishing and family but would you go the route of spending that kind of money for a boat like that or would you actually go to craigslist or facebook marketplace and try to pick up a one of the older fishing skis or you know something like that to try to save some money because if you're in a family and you're fishing is it better to try to save for the future or is it better to just go out and buy something new like that i don't know just my thoughts I think I would probably go the route of not spending that kind of money even though you do get a warranty and all the rebates and all that other stuff that's going to come with those boats. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you know of a better way or some awesome brands that have fishing skis or great boats for fishing and you know for families and all that it's where you can convert back and forth because I'm the kind of guy that would actually just take a bass boat and just tie on a rope and tube right behind it. I, I wouldn't even go for the fishing ski. I would just go for a straight up bass boat, uh, a tracker or a grizzly or John boat or, you know, just something with enough power to pull around the family and have a good time still, but is more of a fishing boat. That's just my thoughts. But let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear from you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.